so there are three basic styles of rumba, um, of Cuban rumba. <laughs> Don't associate it with ballroom rumba, this is a completely different story. Um, yambu, which is a dance of old men, very interesting to watch. Some people are very, very good with it. To imitate dancing as old person, it, it's um, not so simple. Uh, then we have Rumba Colombia, which was, um, and still is, uh, dance to basically show off. Uh, there are a lot of um, jumps, kicks, flips, splits. Um, people are dancing with knives, uh, with blindfolded eyes. I've seen uh, this uh, one guy dancing with a plate and he had a candle yeah, yeah. like lit candle on top of it and uh, on his head mm. really cool um so that's 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 rumba colombia maybe we'll talk about colombia at some point as well because um rumba colombia used to be danced um by men only and when it comes to salsa a lot of men styling comes from rumba colombia really uh, so to improve uh, posture dynamics uh, positioning, um, yeah, and in general style, uh, Rumba Colombia is uh, definitely good direction. Uh, but today we'll concentrate on Wawanko the most. This is the most common style, the the, the style that it appears in music uh, in mm. in timba the most often. Um, and this is a dance of men and women, and a common um, element in it is. Uh, something what is called bakuna when man is attacking woman we'll maybe show that on the uh, separate image as well um, and it's a game and it makes dance a lot less linear um, so basically when people apply it to salsa they use it at any random moment so you attack defend and continue dancing it makes dance a lot more uh, enjoyable, a lot more entertaining, mm -hmm. and... Um, but it's a playful attack, when you say attack, oh, it's yeah, not a violent yeah, attack, yeah, so, mm. it's, a, it's a playful, er erotic, would you say erotic gesture? You yeah? could, you could like call a, it this way. Yeah. a little thrust of the hips, here and there, yeah. or... Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll show it on the image, so that will make a lot more, yeah, yeah, a lot more sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is definitely no touching um, any erotic areas, if you want to call it this way. Um, yeah, okay, let's get back to uh, Wawanko from, from the rhythm perspective. So we have the clave, we have um, uh, congas, and we'll put them together now. Maybe we should first talk should we do about... the kata as well. I think kata is important. Okay, fine. Because sometimes in some songs, uh, if you listen to rumba, um, we will post some links to some rumba songs and stuff. Mm -hmm. But if you do listen to it, you might not be able to hear the bat, 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 um, bat, bat of the, cat, of the um, clave. clave. But you will be able to hear the kata, and it's important to be able to either hear one of these two instruments and lock into it if you're dancing, because very often the, the singing, which is the other element of the music, moves around with respect to the clave and the beat, and so it weaves in and out. And so if you very often in rumba class we have arguments with people, uh, and like saying, don't listen to the singing because it's going to distract mm. you from the beats. If you if you lock into clave, you'll always have something steady mm. to work. Even when one song comes to my mind, to my mind, uh, La Rumba Te Ama by El Zorro. Like this is like mm. a timba song, but mm. um, halfway through the song, there is like very long one minute, one minute and a half part of rumba. Mm. And if you listen to singing there, you have the fake impression of the rhythm. Yeah, you have the yeah. fake impression yeah. of the rhythm. It's misleading. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, like, so, like Dave says, what, what, what gives you uh, the direction of dance? What gives you one is clave or kata. So, from this point of view, I should say that there is no two free rumba clave in rumba. Basically, rumba clave starts on one period. The clave is the clave. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, um, well, let's, let's do the kata then. Yeah. Let's uh, do so, it. there's two different katas. I'll play one first. Some people call this instrument wawa as well. Wawa, which is bus in Cuba, isn't it? Bush. Uh, the bus. A bus. The bus. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think the, the, the doors yeah, on, yeah, the, yeah. on the... Anyway, that's another. Yeah. So I'll play. We like off topics. You want to sing a song for it? Uh, 
uh, you sing it. Okay. I'll so play he it. plays, I sing a song. Uh, like we told you last episode that we, we, we have this song. And if you watched a previous episode uh, carefully, uh, we talked about uh, Kaskara in song, which um, is reversed rhythm to what Dave is playing. So if you remember Kaskara, uh, we used to sing a song, I don't like carrots, I like potatoes. Now we reverse it. So I like potatoes, I don't like carrots. Uh, so let's go, let's go for it. I like potatoes, I don't like carrots. 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 Okay, yeah, so um, like we told you last time as well, the easiest way to learn these rhythms is to find a song for them yeah. and, and try to fit the song in, in the rhythm and that helps a lot, uh, definitely it's a good way to, to learn. With these instruments being quite high pitched, they're usually quite audible in the mix when you're listening to songs. Mm -hmm. They uh, come out on top of everything else. Yeah. Um, so it's a good thing to hone into. But there is another kata that's played sometimes instead of that and it goes like this. I got it, I got it, I won't forget it, I got it, I got it, I won't forget it, I got it, I got it, I won't forget it, I got it, I got it, I won't forget it. Cool. Okay. Um so this is how it fits with clave and another song for it. Um very important to notice that these patterns don't start on one so um or, or songs don't start don't start on one so so when we when we have the first one i like potatoes i don't like carrots i like potatoes i don't like carrots i like potatoes i don't like carrots i like so it comes on like this is where is your one uh with the second one i got it i got it i won't forget it i got it i got it i won't forget it i got it i got it so i got second of uh, second syllable again um yeah so this is um this is the main indicator of the rhythm in rumba um yeah talk about this. yeah so so uh, yeah so we have also here shekere and maracas um when it comes to to to, to finding the tempo of uh, rumba this is very important instrument it's not playing any specific patterns but it's accents down beats uh, normally one one and five or one three five seven um this shekere is very loud if you want yeah you can make it yeah, so. and make it makes in general the, the, this double noise yeah. so quite often it's playing this famous kachan you know, like kachan kachan like, come on even <laughs> Bernard Jem sings about it yeah so yeah, yeah. like okay <laughs> sorry for quitting <laughs> Uh, it, 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 this rhythm can be played on any shakers. Um, I, I've, I've seen I've seen people playing on this one that you twist. Like, That's a Brazilian one, that is. Yeah, yeah, but 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 yeah. Uh, it could be used yeah. or, or maraca as well. So pa pa um pa 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 um pa 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 um pa 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 um pa pa kachan 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 kachan. Um, yeah, when when it comes to dancing videos, we will explain uh, rumba basic steps at some um, some video as well, and we'll show you uh, how kachan fits with with these rhythms uh, also. Mm. The, okay, the tomadoras or congas are the next element. Um, but there's a disclaimer I think with this. The, there is a famous melody which goes boom king king kung kung king king kung kung king king kung, and we will demonstrate that and how it fits with clave. But these days rumba is often the conversation not as evolved. well organized i mean yeah, it is well organized but it's not as clear and as simple yeah it's evolved isn't it it's become mm -hmm. much more complex but when it comes to sorry yeah. stop it when it comes to rumba in salsa you yeah, get this very, a lot yeah you get yeah. it a lot so this <laughs> this 
this rhythm, this melody, yeah, you get it a lot. Yeah, when when it comes to rumba by itself, uh, yeah, it's not as easy to locate it yeah, anymore. Yeah. Uh, so in that case, if you find the, the drums off putting, just lock into the clave or the kata. Mm. <coughs> okay, should we do the... Um, should I play on, on its own first? Yeah, yeah. go on. So, uh, if you rewind this video by 20 seconds or 30 and listen to us again, you will notice that there is um, this famous, again I use this word, um, arrangement of call and response. This is very common concept in uh, music, uh, in Cuban music as well. Uh, so clave is giving a call, conga is giving response. So Yeah, obviously this is not the full rhythm, but this is like um, something what again helps you to uh, locate yourself in the rhythm. Um, yeah, so I think we went through uh, all basic instruments. Uh, in, 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 in some arrangement you can have bells in um, rumba, you can get guiro, uh, you can have bata drums as well, yeah? Bata drum, yeah. yeah. So but this uh, is the fundamental. We've covered the fundamental. Yes, yes. There, so, so, but 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 it might happen that you you will hear uh, different instruments in rumba, and then there is obviously singing. Do you want to sing anything or? I don't really want to sing anything. Okay, no. no. <laughs> so we're, we're not going to camera. sing. I mean, we're I'll sing it to you privately, me if you want. But, <laughs> yeah. You know. uh, yeah. Okay. Fair, fair enough. I, I, I'm, I'm not good in singing, so I'm, I'm not even going to attempt it. <laughs> what I will tell you only is that there are famous chorus, like uh, repeatable verses in in, in rumba, like. Um, I Ave Maria Morena and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, that that repeats a lot. Or like in Colombia, this lie lie, rumba lie lie, and that, that, that happens a lot. Yeah, and they have this repeatable. Um, what what else do you have this from this? Um... So in the singing, what is happening is again what you mentioned: call and response between the clave and the drums. There's a call and response between the gear or the guide, sing the lead singer and the coro. Um, and so very often the the gear will introduce a melody or a lyric and then the choral will copy that mm. and then so there'll be this constant back and forth and then the gear mm. will introduce another uh, yeah. like lyric. And very often, especially when it comes to passionate Cubans, when they start singing, they are improvising quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. yeah so there is a lot of improvisation in singing. So there is this response, but uh, the, the call can be improvised mm. a lot. Mm. So they, they get a phrase to be repeated multiple times, but then, um, yeah, this lead um, quite often improvises. Okay, just to finish off um, the um, instrumental section, uh, they brought uh, one more instrument here. Uh, it's a cajon. So yeah, a cajon is a wooden box. You can see it's open at one end there. Um, and basically, these were made out of, I believe, shipping, like the shipping crates in the in the dockyards mm. and stuff like that. It would have been readily available, as we talked about. Cubans are very resourceful people. Mm. And Not always you could have um, a conga conga available. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. I mean, it's difficult. So you just improvise on something like that. So it can produce all the same kind of tones as a conga. Mm. You just have a slightly different technique. So what I was playing before. <laughs> So uh, this is actually a really cool instrument because um, it's so basic. But yes, yeah, it's very simple. Can, but I can't play it particularly well, but I will. I will learn to play it better. But it's simple, but it's yeah. very effective. Yes, and, yes, it's uh, very creative um, piece of equipment.